What kind of control do you think people have over this? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's see. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where do you find this shit from? Where do you get this stuff? Uh, we got a split picture again. We got fucking Instagram. Oh, we got a wellness culture versus actual wellness. Are you ready? Are you ready? Wellness culture versus actual wellness. Uh, this is going to be an absolute oh, fucking hot mess. hot mess. Oh, it. oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Wellness culture versus actual wellness. So let's see here. This is from Alexandra. Alexandra C. MacKillop. Alexandrachma. <laughs> Maybe the person's name is Alexandrachma. My name. My name is Alexan Alexandrachma. C. Killop. Al Al Alexandr we'll call her Alexandrachma C. Killop. That's the first name, Alexandrachma. I'm from Transylvania. They call me Alexandrachma. All right, Alexandra. Let's see what you got here. Let's read that. Let's look at the picture first. Let's look at the shit post first, and then we'll get into the actual caption. Wellness culture. So if you're listening only, this is a split screen again, because people on Instagram legit for some fucking reason, for some fucking reason, these jabronis and jabbernets literally can't. They literally fucking can't post on Instagram without having a split screen. It's got to be this basic, hey, I'm like, my intelligence level is 101. This is as basic and as fucktardish as an Instagram post gets, this split screen nonsense. I'm so sick of this shit. First, take a big step back. Tired of it. And literally fuck your own face. Everybody knows you never go full retard. On the left, there's a picture of a piece of pizza. I gained 10 pounds just thinking about pizza. No, I'm going to stop you right there. We're going to tear this up. We're going to, we're going to tear this up as you, as we go through it. You don't gain 10 pounds just thinking about pizza. You gain 10 pounds because you look at the pizza or you think about the pizza and then you buy a pizza and then you eat the whole fucking pizza. Okay. And if you hear a lot of noise, it's because it's raining hard, hard. Okay. Okay. Wellness culture. I gained 10 pounds just thinking about pizza. No, one, I can't even make it through the beginning. I can't even make it through the beginning. My name's Forrest. Forrest Gump. You don't gain weight by thinking. If anything, you do realize thinking utilizes calories. Thinking utilizes calories. So if you're thinking a lot, if you play chess, you burn thousands of calories, especially these professional, these high-level chess players. They burn tons and tons and tons of calories. The brain is an absolute furnace. If you're thinking about pizza... And then you buy a pizza and then you eat the pizza. There you go. That's how you gain 10 pounds. Um, and then there's a donut. Sugar and gluten make me feel bloated. Okay, here we go. You ready? Everyone, drop in the comments if sugar and gluten make you bloated. Sugar and gluten make me bloated. It's true. That's not wellness culture. That's a fact. Sugar is poison. It's really fucking poison. It literally is. If you're having, okay, if you're having some blueberries, it's not poison. You know what I'm talking about? Processed sugar, it's fucking poison. Legit. It's fake. It's not real. Sugar and gluten make me bloated. Yes. For many of you, if not most of you, you get fucking bloated. Yes. You you have migraines from dairy and from bread and from grains and from sugar. Yes. Let's look, let's look at the comments here. All right? Everyone, everyone that Okay, and then wellness culture, there's a little comment at the bottom. Quote, "I need to cut out carbs for my health." Okay. If you have issues with dairy, gluten, or sugar, okay, because we'll count dairy for the grains and the, the gluten for the pizza, okay? If you have issues with dairy, gluten, or sugar, or all of them, or any of them, drop in the comments below, and I'm literally going to post every single one on the screen. Alabastard, yes. Sarah A, yep, that's a fact. Chanel, bagels mess me up like nothing else in this world. Cerny, hell yes. Alabastard, dairy, dairy too. Culinary adventurer, sugar, gluten, and fat together make me super bloated. Josh Fisk, pizza makes me bloated. Ashton Horn, sugar makes me bloated. Amano Kurosawa, sugar is poison. Sarah, processed sugar is not good for you. Anna, Annika Skulanda, gluten cuts on my insides and my skin when my body tries to expel it. Culinary adventurer, processed carbs make me super bloated. Amanda Bodie, yes. Milk, yes. 
Okay? Enough. Literally, I just said that, and there's a thousand fucking posts. Modern car maven, it gives me the shits. So fuck that shit. We're not even, we're not even through a, th we're just through a third of this post, and it's already a hot fucking mess. Can you be any more? You in full retard, man. Legit. Okay, so that's the, we already tore it up. I can't even wait to read the whole post before I rip it up. So that's the wellness culture. Now here's the actual wellness. There's a pretzel. You should be able to enjoy your favorite foods. Lieutenant Dang. Oh. God. Why does it have to be a pretzel? Just put some heroin there. You should be able to enjoy your favorite addictions. Yeah, just put a fucking bottle of Jack and a needle. You should be able to enjoy your favorite foods. I enjoy my foods. I just had some fucking bacon and some skirt steak, some grass-fed skirt steak from yesterday from the fridge. I might have a fucking ribeye later. I love my food. Trust me. Go have a bowl of berries or something. I love my fucking food. Okay? And then there's a picture of a Snickers bar. You should be able to enjoy your favorite foods and there's a Snickers bar without it making you feel sick. What if you have an allergic reaction? You know what? You should be able to enjoy peanuts even if it makes you feel sick. All right? Tell that to someone who can sniff peanut dust and die and go into anaphylactic shock. What a fucking idiot. And then there's an empty plate. Food isn't the problem. Let's figure out what is. Holy shit. Whoever taught you how to speak English and I don't know. Whoever, told, whoever taught you how to walk. Whoever taught you how to walk. Alexandra C. MacKillop or whatever the f fucking dumbass. Let's see this caption. I, I can't wait for this fucking caption. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. I cannot wait. <sighs> Alexandra, if you can't eat your favorite food without feeling sick, that's a problem. No shit. Let's just wait. I, I, I'm not, I can't. I can't. We're going back. If you can't eat your favorite food without feeling sick, that's a problem. Well, maybe because you have a picture of a piece of pizza, a donut, a pretzel, and a Snickers bar. That's the problem. Okay. Diet culture makes it seem like the healthiest people are the ones who are super strict about what, when, and how much they eat. Folks. Okay. I, I hate that term. Folks. That gives me like chills up my spine. I don't know why. It's, it's one of those freaking social justice terms. Folks who say things like, I don't, I just don't feel well when I eat sugar are esteemed as having a strong willpower or so much self-control. Oh, they're talking to you, fam. They're talking there. She's this beach is insulting you. So you're lying when you say you don't feel good. So everyone that said that you have allergies and you have sensitivities and you feel fucked up. So all of you that feel that way, when you say you don't feel good, when you eat what you just said, you don't feel good when you eat, right? You are the ones that are esteemed as having a strong willpower or so much self-control, etc. Okay. But let's be honest. Oh, let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Alexandra. Let's be honest. You twunt. The human body was designed to be able to process sugar. Oh, I, 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 uh, First, take a big step back and literally fuck your own face. I don't. The human body was designed to be able to process sugar. You keep using the horn. I don't think it means what you think it means. If we can't eat something sweet without it making us ill, that's not a sign of health. It's the opposite. What kind of control do you think people have over this? What are you talking about? You're talking about your fucking feelings. You're probably fat as hell and miserable. Alexandra, I, I declare that you need to get fucked or something. You need a hobby. You need some kind of passion. You need something to actually, you need some release because you're an idiot. You're a fucking idiot. So why don't you make like a tree and get out of here? So people have a choice. So allergic reactions are a choice now. Why is it always, again, that, see, look, and you all know me, I'm no misogynist, but why is it always a fucking woman that does this shit? I would love to rip on a dude that says dumb shit, but instead you have the dudes doing 10,000 calorie challenges. Guys don't say this dumb shit. They just fucking eat and like, oh, I'm just stuff my face. Look, I can be ripped. And they're juicing out of their fucking minds or like Eric the Electric and they're biking 3,000 miles a week. So the dudes do the food challenges. 
and the women just complain and be like, no, I can eat whatever I want. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm having allergies because I feel like it today. I don't have a sensitivity. It's just my mood. The allergies are not a, it's not a fucking mood. All right. Allergies are as much a mood as Antifa is a fucking idea. Okay. You're an idiot. This chick is a goddamn brick wall. I, I can't even handle this shit anymore. This is fucking insane. I know it continues, but we don't need any more of this. If foods are making you bloated, I, I don't even know what, it doesn't even matter. I don't even, I'm glad I only have this picture. I don't want to see the continuation. I'm glad I only have this. This is unreal. This is unreal. I want to take some of your thoughts. Let's leave this. Let's leave this stupid shit online. So that's an Instagram post. So there's the username and all that. So you can go and um, don't troll this person. Don't, you know, but you can go and leave your thoughts. Why not? This is absolute lunacy. Absolute lunacy. You should be able to enjoy your favorite foods without it making you feel sick. Then maybe you should stop eating pizza, donuts, pretzels, and Snickers bars. How about that, Alexandra? You'd feel totally fine if you weren't shoving garbage in your face all the fucking time. Then it, you're trying to... <laughs> it's not a feeling. It's not like, hmm, I wish I wasn't obese and I wish I didn't have hives and I break out in a fucking rash every time I had a pretzel. But hey... That's just me. I, if I break out in hives, if I eat a fucking pretzel, I guess, I guess I'm just esteemed as having a strong willpower or so much self-control. It's diet culture, right? It's the culture that gives you an allergic reaction. It's not the vegetable oils. It's not the gluten. It's not the processed sugar. Let's be honest. The human body was designed to be able to process sugar in fruit once in a while, seasonally, not 365 days a year in concentrated forms from artificial sources focused on just, I can't on, on a scale of one to 10. Do you think this is like this? This might be the stupidest post I've read in a long time. I know we cover a lot of dumb shit. This might be the stupidest fucking post I've ever seen. So this is the continuation. So we have this dumb shit right here. If foods are making you bloated, it's the suspense. Ooh, tell us more. Tell us more. If foods are making you bloated, it's not the food's problem. There's something. Go <laughs> oh my God. Come on, don't bullshit me. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. We all right. <laughs> Amazing grace. Hmm. If foods are making you bloated, it's not the food's problem. There's something going on with your health and you need to see a doctor. God damn it, I don't know what it is about your face, but I want to deliver one of these right in your suck hole. Is there anything I can do to work on that? No, so you not wouldn't... really, it's your face. If foods, okay. You, you, all right, let's look at this. This is the last paragraph. You do realize you don't need anything else. The, even the first, remember the first paragraph? Remember the first paragraph, how stupid that was? You don't even need that. This alone, she contradicts herself like within two sentences. Okay. Okay. So let's listen to this, listen to these two cent, two cent, two. So if you, if you, if you ever have a, a thought or a, if you ever wonder how dumb you can be within two sentences, within two sentences, I'll quote this again. Cause some of you listening are probably like smashing your head against the steering wheel right now. If foods are making you bloated, it's not the food's problem. No, she, she can't even make it through a sentence. Forget the, forget the second sentence. Forget that shit. One sentence. All right. If foods are making you bloated, let's just, well, wait, stop. Don't even get to the, fuck that comma. I'm not even touching the comma, baby. No, no, no. If, <laughs> if foods are making you bloated. So she's saying that foods, the foods are making you bloated. Okay. The food, she's saying if foods are making you bloated. So we agree. The foods are making you bloated. 
Okay. Okay. So the foods are making this person bloated, this supposed person. The food is making them bloated. It's not the food's problem. What is this? It's not me, it's you routine. It's not you, it's me routine. What was it from Seinfeld? She gave me, she gave you the it's not you, it's me routine. That's your routine. I know. <laughs> That's my routine. It's always me. If it's anybody, it's me, baby. <laughs> if foods are making you bloated, I need some, I need some Seinfeld soundboard. I need any little Costanza. Holy shit. If, if I'm, I'm already broken, I think I might be, I can't. Uh. If foods are making you bloated, it's not the food's problem. You literally just said the foods are making you bloated. So I can't even make it through the first sentence. You're already, you're already just gumped it. You just completely fucking gumped it. My name's Forrest, Forrest Gump. There's something going on with your health and you should see your doctor. Uh, to Ivan Drago, this nutcase, I will break you. He is made of iron. I fight for me. All right, sorry. I'm going to go all, I'm going to go all Rocky for Be careful. Wow. 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 